Hi guys, this is Jamie with gettingcrafty.net. Hopefully you're gonna enjoy a little bit of celebrating this summer heat with a beautiful handmade ombre card that's sure to wow. See this really easy and fun tip right now, an easy card to create that's sure to delight. I think it's kind of sweet personally. What do you think? Create with us right now. In honor of summer and those great handmade or hand squeezed lemonades, we are going to create this great ombre handmade card with a little sparkle using a good day stamp set. I really love the sweet little stamp set that this encompasses. So let's go ahead and create that. Anytime you're going to do these different techniques, you need something for the surface of your um, crafting area. And I use our grid paper. You can buy a package of 100 from Stampin' Up! And this is our glossy white cardstock. It would work with regular white cardstock, but glossy just seems to work so much better. And it reminds me of the fun little lemonade cup that we're using. Then what we're going to do is use a sponge brayer. We're going to use Daffodil Delight ink pad. Stampin' Up! recently redid their Daffodil Delight, or their ink pads, and they are beautiful. They stack so well. And it's the same surface size, but a fraction of the space to store it. That makes me happy because I've got limited space. I don't know about you. Then we're going to start at the bottom and we're going to, actually I'm going to turn it upside down so it's easy for me. I'm going to brayer over it. You don't have to push hard across the bottom of this card. We're going to use the daffodil and reload every once in a while. And we're going to go the lightest, probably up here towards the top. And it does not have to be perfect, but it's easy to get it because the glossy kind of lets you layer the card a little bit easier. And the bottom should be a really darker yellow or brighter, however you want to look at it. And we're just going to kind of go up and do like so. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. You always want to make sure it's a little bit lighter across the top. So just do like a light brayer like that. That gives you that yummy ombre look. If you can apply darker to the bottom, you could actually use it with a darker ink pad as well. You could use crushed curry or anything like that. I don't think I need to because I'm representing lemonade. Um, I have a Meyer tree, a lemon Meyer tree in my yard. And so those lemons actually don't even need sugar added. Isn't that fabulous? So then what we're going to do is um, you can rinse this later and recreate it. It comes with a different, a couple different tips per brayer. They are my favorite to play with. Then we're going to take a piece of regular white cardstock. We're also going to take this stays on black ink and our stamp a good day. This is a wood mount version I have here for you to see. It's awesome. It's item number 145870 and I adore all the sayings and the little greetings. Little is fun in my opinion. So what we're going to do is grab this lemonade and we're going to use the stays on black ink pad it smells like almonds and I love that just stamp straight down and straight up the reason we use stays on is we're going to actually watercolor with our aqua painters right now to add that ombre look with the same daffodil delight ink pad so all of our ink pads, including the new ones, you just give a gentle squeeze to the middle and you'll get a palette of ink to use in the inside. And we're going to use an aqua painter. They have a, a well of water right in the tip that you can refill over and over. It's pretty awesome. And we're gonna just color in. I don't color the straw. I kind of want it to stay out, like maybe a little bit lighter over the ice. But when you look at a cup, sometimes you see that straw and we're going to color the um, little lemonade as well, the lemon. I love Meyer lemons. You don't cook with them unless you're making dessert, though, I'm going to be honest. I try to do a, my lemon fish um, dinner that I do, and let me tell you, that did not go over well. It was a very sweet lemon fish. Then we're going to take the one-inch circle punch. Stampin' Up's punches have a great little lever across the back, so they store flat. And we're gonna punch out this great little lemonade. Boop. I do encourage you, if you have um, just a split second, apply a little shadow underneath. So I'm going to grab just a little dash of that delightful um, da Daffodil Delight, and I'm gonna put just a little bit of like color underneath. That looks um, really good when you do that, just like that. 
it's one of those little tips that you probably wouldn't even notice, but I love it. It's kind of like the reflection of the um, card. Then we're gonna take in that same stamp pad, or stamp set, the here's to a good day greeting. And we're going to stamp that across the top just like so. Go down and come straight up, and there you go. Stazon's a solvent ink and alcohol based, so you can watercolor and it doesn't blend the black. What we're going to do is take the Daffodil Delight cardstock. I scored at four and a quarter and cut at five and a half. Line it up, give it a little swish with your fingers. Use the bone folder to crisp the edge and then flip it over. We actually are going to use um, black cardstock and we're gonna put the dash, dash, four sides. You can do the middle. I don't know that you need to unless you're really thinking this is gonna get aggressive here. <laughs> I doubt that it is for you guys. It doesn't for me, and I mail quite a bit of cards. So then we're gonna take this glossy white cardstock and do the same with the um, snail adhesive. Simple, neat, affordable, inline adhesive. That's what it stands for. You can just say snail. My niece said that it looked like snail slime, and I thought that that was a very good observation she had. <laughs> so. On my recent trip, I fell in love with Escargo. We do a crafting cruise um, every year, and um, it was the first time my friend Patty had encouraged me to try Escargo, and I have to say, it is amazing. If you haven't, don't turn your no nose up at it until you've tried it. Oh, shoot. So I was gonna show you that you can punch out from the black piece right there, but I'm gonna grab just a piece of black cardstock, and I'm gonna grab the one and three eighths circle punch. And it's got a nice little scallop to it right there, the scallop punch. We're gonna pop it and watch it go. Now, I'm gonna put it towards the middle because I can still use it, and watch this. It's gonna pop up at you. Boop, boop. That's kind of like magic, isn't it? Then we're gonna put the two together. We're gonna use dimensional adhesive on the back of this watercolored little lemonade glass on the front of the scallop. Now on this one I used a yellow to kind of resemble the um, Daffodil Delight and here I'm gonna use the black. I'd love to know what your opinion is. Are you going team yellow or team black? And because it's a glass cup, I am watercoloring it in with our Wink of Stella on top of that. It's a glitter pen and it's awesome. So whenever you're using to create an ombre card, you're gonna want to just go over it lightly to build your um, project. Too many people start off heavy handed and then they regret it. They're like, oh, they can't fix it. It's always easier to apply color than it is to take it away. Then we're gonna place this really fun little lemonade card just like so. And here we have two options, one sweet treat really quickly. And look how it sparkles, let's see here. Can you see how that sparkles just like so? I love it. Now, I was originally team yellow, Daffodil Delight, but I really think this black kind of owns me. I love it. So I hope you enjoy this. Check it out on my blog at gettingcrafty.net, where I hope that you'll create with us. Join us on our crafting cruises, shop with us online for all of these supplies, and join us on our Facebook Lives and our IGTV. I hope to see you there. Have a good one. Bye.